Okay, so now that you have the W wire installed, we're going to flip and do the single wire. Uh, so just take your wheel, flip it over. And now you're going to have the six mount points from the spacers exposed. Grab your single wire Revo light. Um, again, look for the single wire termination and then the white sticker denotes the white lights. Um, put that aligned with the W wire wire exit and even go so far as to make sure that the uh, slots themselves are in the exact same spot because that's going to be important in order to lights to stay aligned. So this looks good here. I'm going to go grab some screws. Um, again, these are these ones here are your clip screws. The smaller quantity and the larger quantity are your spacer screws. We want six of those. Um, I went ahead and put some tape down on the table so that when I put Loctite on these screws it doesn't get all over the table. Um, screws are out and you just need a little dab right at the end of each of the screws. That should be good. And go ahead and place your screws. Okay, so once they're all in place, go ahead and tighten them down. And again, tighten them down and then back them off a couple of turns just so that the ring can be loose to move after. <clears throat> okay, with those screws down, now I'm going to take the wheel if you're using a stand like I was using this Barola duct tape, uh, set it off to the side, set your wheel down, and we're just going to do a check of concentricity. Um, so actually I'm going to do this test starting on the W wire side just because there's the installation templates there. The first check is just to see that if there is a gap between the uh, template and the ring that it's even on each one. So that one looks good, that one looks good too, and number three looks fine. So I'm going to give it one quick spin test and again watching for that gap between the ring and the wheel. Um, if that looks good, which this one does, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. So just give each screw a tight, um, make sure they're all cinched down. And with that done, we're going to flip it over and repeat that process. Uh, do a quick spin test. Just make sure the rings are aligned, that looks fine. And tighten the screws down. Okay, with that done, we're going to do the last alignment step, and that is uh, making sure the rings are actually aligned to the wheel. So if you look here, um, what we're looking for is to have the same view of each LED if you look uh, edge on on the wheel, and that is just to make sure the light projects evenly. Um, and the adjustment for this is actually this screw right here. This is the uh, the clip screw and that's going to allow the, you to shift the rings either to the left or to the right as you have to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that test myself and then adjust as necessary. So I'm looking to see the gap. It looks good. If it looks good, go ahead and tighten it down. Okay, so this one I'm going to go ahead and adjust a little bit. So shift it to be centered. So that's good. Looks good. Okay, um, with that done, your wheel should be good to go for the next step.